Folks, it's the old silver fox in the house. Old Rand here with the PPW do or die results and video finishes. The night started off pretty freaking hot to be honest with you. The American Beard who has stepped up his fitness game, the proof will be in the pudding when you watch the video which will be on YouTube. And again folks, I've got to remind you, no matter what anybody says, pro wrestling is, has, and always will be an infomercial. An infomercial that is so exciting, you forget you're watching an infomercial, but to get you compelled enough to subscribe to our streaming service on Patreon, where you can subscribe and receive the weekly Rancast, but more importantly, do or die in its entirety, with the exception of this opening matchup where the American beard that I was just putting over dropped about 50 pounds in this last year and was able to pull the wool over zero three's eyes. Watch what happens. The beard is taking a lot of punishment. He's got a front face lock. He's trying to keep control. Zero three though, with the gut shot. And Zero Three's got the ropes! Ooh, hoo, hoo, Lulu saw it! Lulu saw it! Lulu saw it! She called him out! Pretty good, man. Lulu showing once again the mind is mightier than the Bosman. And here's Zero Gold backs him in now. I mean, uh, the beer backs Zero in now. Mid ring! Rolls through on the cross! One, two, three! Your winner at 8 minutes and 45 seconds, the American Beard. The Beard, a living, breathing example. You get out of things what you put into it. Unbelievable shape that guy's coming. He's lost one third of a human is what I told him after that matchup tonight. Match number two in singles action, Charlie Hustle accompanied by the science Marcus Smith to go against Jay Leon. This one got a little wonky. At the end of the day, Charlie Hustle got caught with his fingers in the cookie jar. Who, Charlie Hustle? Yes, Charlie Hustle, couldn't be. Then who? Watch what happens here. Don't get frustrated, Jay. Get up, brother, get up. Good job. Keep the energy in the room up. You need that energy on your side to win the match. Charlie Hustle, though, takes that one second. You give him an inch and he takes a mile. You give him a foot and Charlie Hustle, Marcus the Science Smith will take a leg. Right now, Charlie Hustle's jaw is hurt. Complaining to Ian about what I don't know. What I don't know, oh. Jay firing back though. Get him, kid, get him. Follow him in, kid, follow him in. He's got the... The winner of this matchup, Charlie Hustle. Wait a minute, the ROZ is out here. He's set to defend the titles alone tonight against these two, and he's definitely got a bone to pick with these guys from the first place, in the first place.
victory tonight, Jay Kaiser. The two men are behind me, did in fact win a tag team title shot tonight at do or die. Believe it or not, out of the mouth of babes, and Roz has agreed to it, Roz doesn't have to take these two on alone later tonight. He's got a new tag team partner, As you can see, Jay Leon really stepped in. When I say he stepped in it, I mean it. He didn't step in shit. His young career, he got himself a tag team championship defense matchup later in the night against Marcus the Science Smith and Charlie Hustle. Unfortunately, he did step in shit on the finish of this one. Then, everybody thought it was going to be one way, shape, or form. Rockstar Rosie having to hang up his boots. When he actually did step up to Marcus the Science Smith challenge, when Marcus told Rockstar Rosie he was not cut out for this industry, he was not cut out for the sport of pro wrestling. The problem there is, when you tell someone like Rosie <clears throat> that he's not apt, doesn't hold the aptitude to do what he breathes, eats, and sleeps, what do you think's going to happen, Marcus the Science Smith? Rosie took that challenge and raised the stakes. He didn't just check. He raised the stakes and said, I'll put my career up against your dirty, filthy, stinky mustache. That's right. The people came to see rock star Rosie get a hold of the old broom handle on the Cupid's bow of Marcus the Science Smith. And on this one, rock star Rosie surprised a lot of the critics. Roll the footage. Get him, Rosie, get him. Get that mustache. Get you a piece of that sweet stash, brother. Oh, oh, no, the... Russian leg sweep, but this is gonna do it. Why isn't he going for a cover though? Why isn't he going for a cover? The match was his. The match was his. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Mark my words. This is got this is a mistake. He's not gonna fall for it. He's going for another Russian. He's got the sleep on him. He's got the sleep on him. If he can't get out of that, he's dipping. You go ahead and check this. Check this. This is a legit sleeper. It's not a choke. It's not a choke. It's no way, shape, or form a choke. It, Marcus is dipping. There's no way out. The arm drop once. He's dipping. That's it. Your winner, Rockstar Rosie! Now he must shave.
Dave Marcus's mustache. I can't believe that we made it to this point. Unbelievable rung in the ladder of the career of Rockstar Rosie. He rolled the dice on the career versus mustache and won. Everybody wants to see this happen to Marcus the Science Smith. Zip that effer right off his face. Let's see how it goes this time. I hope they're getting a tight angle on this one. Oh, is it coming? How's it coming? Wait a minute. The fans only want one half. That's a better rib. That's a hell of a rib. Leave him with half a stash. <laughs> After all that talk, all the belittling, he did it. He left half a stash. Once again, your winner, Rockstar Rosie. And then, folks, original concept match by Premier Pro Wrestling. And I will pat our booking committee on the back. What a concept we came up with. We. When we put together the three levels of hell triple crown championship matchup featuring three of probably the hottest stars in all of wrestling today. You may not know them by household name, but keep watching their matches because you'll know all three of them very soon. You can mark my words and mark your calendars and tell us, Randy, damn it, you are Nostradamus, man. Semsei versus badass Brandon Campbell versus El Guerrero. Brandon Campbell was in fact going into this match, the Challenge Pro Champion and the King of the Iron Man. Semsei had something to prove, and Semsei spent the better part of a month getting unscheduled heavyweight championship matches against Jose Acosta, challenging Jose's pride. Brandon Campbell sat back in the wings and got more and more frustrated and tired of seeing it, and he stepped in. And boy, oh boy, it really was the three layer levels of hell. The first match, King of the Iron Man. In this matchup, that match goes 30 minutes and the man with the most pinfalls and submissions at the end of 30 minutes is the King of the Iron Man. And watch what happens here, how Brandon Campbell held on to that title. Unbelievable. All Brandon's got to do is run interference. He's up by one fall. Unless some sort of miracle happens. And there it goes. Oh, he missed. And there it goes. Sam, this might be the miracle. Big fist to the top of the head. Spear by Brandon. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh. 20. After going 30 minutes, the same three men had to participate in the Challenge Pro Wrestling matchup for the Challenge Pro title. As triple threat matches, it's the first one to a fall, a submission pinfall, or if you eliminate someone over the top rope, you are in fact the winner. And watch what happens here, SM is your new Challenge Pro Champion! Jeez, unbelievable drama. Second level of hell, Challenge Pro Championship match. My voice was lost in the first. Brandon looks good. Oh, but Jose, using those brains and street smarts, he's going for his finish. Brandon put the brakes on with his triceps. Use both of them to avoid it. 
and now he pulls him in. He double pumped. Oh, but Jose wriggles out. Oh, <laughs> they didn't mean to, but they worked together. Did I tell you or did I tell you? Subscribe to our Patreon. You've got to see Do or Die in its entirety, especially for that amazing concept match, the main event. It really was three levels of hell, and it really put the word championship matchup into championship matchup. I should say the phrase, right? The phrase championship matchup into championship matchup. These guys work like their lives depended on it, all three of them. Now, since Brandon Campbell was eliminated in the challenge pro match over the top rope, he was also eliminated from the match in its entirety, including a not limited two. The first to two falls for Jose Acosta's PPW Heavyweight Championship. We ended up feeling back to where we started when Jose Acosta faced Semsei. And remember, the first to two falls special guest referee Casey James because they've creamed four or five referees already on the roster none of them wanted to get in there Casey did his best to direct traffic he did pretty good to direct traffic however and we're going to get words on this probably next week the circumstances were shady and quite surprising so all the fans in attendance for do or die I'm talking about the actions of your winner and still PPW heavyweight champion, El Guerrero. The third level of hell, and boy, these guys fought through it. Jose Acosta with the form of a dragon sleeper on some say. And I think that's just smart wrestling. I don't know how much energy these guys got left. At the same time, I don't know how high the stakes could be for the heavyweight title, and now it's one-on-one. -on -one. Look at Sam, though. Only Sam, man, could have got out of that. Only Sam safe. They have to hit the referee. Sam's going for the counter roll. But Sam goes outside with it. No! Your winner and still PPW Heavyweight Champion, El Guerrero! Don't forget, fans, our shirts help support us, help keep the doors open and see some really cool shirts and score some really cool shirts at some really cool prices. Premier Pro Wrestling's official merchandise page at ProWrestlingTees.com. Don't forget Patreon. Stream Do or Die and all of our other big monthly tapings on Patreon, as well as the weekly Rancast from guys like myself and Casey James, who one way, shape, or form, our thumbprints are still on what you watch every week on WWE Brands. Thanks for checking in. This Saturday night, it's PPW 415. We start the number one contenders tournament and the big show name and date will be announced on Saturday. On Saturday, August 13th, 2022. Here's old Rand.